What's cooking with you, YouTube fam? Happy New Year! It's Mr. Good Looking back again. So smooth. Oh, incredibly smooth. One more YouTube video for you. Today we're going to take it outside. We're going to throw some slabs of spare ribs on the Pit Boss 1150. We're going to do a hot and fast cook. So grab your favorite apron and a dish rag. It's time to put this puppy together. Okay, so we have two slabs, spare ribs, good looking spare ribs at that. We're gonna take this skirt off. That's what she said. Start off with, very easy to do. Take your sharp knife. Take that skirt. Right on off of her. That's what she said, that's what she said. Put it to the side. Then, the best way to do it, find a center bone, somewhere around center. Throw, that, throw a butter knife up in there. Get it started. All you gotta do is get it started and follow that bone all the way down in there, like that, where you can get your finger. But it's better than trying to start at one end and go into the other. Cause then, you just got too much too much resistance. Look at that. Stick my finger all the way through. Once you stick your finger all the way through, grab the whole thing, rip it. Just like that. We're gonna turn this into some St. Louis. You're gonna find that last bone right there. You wanna cut that off. Still good meat, we still gonna cook it. It's beautiful but we want St. Louis style ribs. Go right here. And go straight down. Now we got some beautiful St. Louis ribs. Now, this old thin end right here, we are gonna take that off. We can flip it back over, find that bone, probably take that whole bone off. Right. That's another snack. Take some of this off. For the most part, I'm gonna leave all this on. We ain't going to no competition or anything like that. So that's one down. I'm gonna get the other one done and then we're gonna throw them on the grill. All right, so today we're gonna do a binder, a little bit of mustard. All right, we're gonna do, do these two different ways. I'm going with the Hog Waller by Suckle Busters on one and by Meat Church, Holy Voodoo. So we'll put the Hog Waller on this one. Make sure you get your sides. I don't want the side police in the comments getting me. And you didn't, you didn't season the sides. You Bastards. Well, look, it's on there. I'm putting it on camera. Sides of season. Go with the meat church. Holy voodoo on the other one. It's kind of got that Cajun spices to it. So it's got a little bit of jalapeno in there. So Flip them over. Little mustard. You know, like I said, you don't need much. Just a little bit. You will not taste this mustard. That's a fact, Jack. You putting enough on there. Ain't putting enough on there for you to be able to smell any of it, so. Put you a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. Go on now. Look, this hog waller and this holy voodoo was my two go-to seasonings for ribs. I like a good, just regular salt and pepper as well, but 
Man, it's hard to mess a rib up when you use these two, for sure. Get these sides. I like your style, dude. All right, get the grill fired up. Throw them on there, scrunch them up. We just let it go. So now that the ribs are on the smoker, we're running Pit Boss 1150 at 300 degrees. We are probably going to do that for two, two and a half hours. We will wrap them up and we will cook them until probe tender. Once they're probe tender, we will unwrap them, put them back on the grill. Probably won't even put sauce on them. So we'll see how it goes. They're so simple, so easy. So just follow this video, man. You can do it at your house too. You ain't gotta have nothing big and elaborate to do it. So let's get it done. Man, look, what you see at the end of this, I will give you a pro tip on how to cook these ribs perfect every single time. But you gotta stay tuned to the end. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I appreciate that each and every one of y'all. Yeah, I'll bring y'all back when we take them off the wrap. Peace. Look at that beauty. It looks good. It's been two hours. Everything's set pretty good. It's looking good. So I'm gonna put some pats of butter. Some Mike's hot honey, honey infused with chilies. a little bit because I like that little bit of a kick I'll wrap it once like that wrap it again like that Take this in. Roll it like that. This end here. I'm gonna flip up. Leave a little bit of room. I'm gonna put a little bit of fruit juice in there. Probably like half a cup of some fruit juice. Seal it up. Just like that. Do this one the same way. We're gonna stick them back on the grill. All right, so forgive me. I forgot to hit record when I took the ribs off the grill. Smooth, Michael. Pretty ribs they are anyway. I mean, just look. I mean, just beautiful. Now for a taste test. Clean bite right off the rib. For a rib only cooking for three and a half, four hours, they don't get no better than that, folks. But if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We here at Triple B's Barbecue don't want you to miss out on any recipes made easy so you can impress that certain someone or get out the doghouse or hey, maybe even become the king of your neighborhood from that backyard grill action. Don't forget to spam that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post future videos. Just like always, get out there and cook something. Peace. Shoot, I'm about to eat me another one. Nah. Oh, y'all still here? <laughs> Man, y'all get out of here.